Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our second video in Learn Django 2.1. In the previous video we had a simple introduction to Django framework and also uh, we have created our first project in Django. Uh, now let me run my uh, server, development server in Django from the previous video. Open your terminal in PyCharm like this and uh, now uh, let me make it now I'm going to change the directory to my project uh, uh, cd my project and now I'm going to run my server you can run your server just by uh, python uh, manage.py run server uh, now my development server is going to be run and uh, It will create my server. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now it is a running uh, development server in this port. Let me just copy this uh, and open my uh, browser and paste it in here. Okay, you can see that this was from the previous video. We have successfully installed Django and we have created our first project. Now in this video I'm going to uh, uh, show you how you can create super user in Django. And first of all, what is super user? Uh, super user, we can call it uh, for super user an admin panel or an administration panel that uh, you can control your uh, contents through this uh, super user or admin panel. For example, you have a website and use website and uh, you want to add or uh, uh, delete or update uh, this crowd operation you want to perform crowd operation on your website so uh, you can do this by Django built-in admin panel so it's so good it's so good that uh, it will uh, for example if we uh, uh, look to another frameworks like flask uh, flask is also a good framework for web development and web apps but there is no an admin panel built-in admin panel in uh, flask uh, when you're going to, uh, when you're going to, uh, for example, create a news website for uh, crowd operation, you need to also create an admin panel in Flask. So uh, in Django, you have a built-in. Uh, there is no problem. So we can tell that uh, Django admin site provides a web-based interface to access the database uh, connected to a Django project. Even for experienced technical administration doing database or uh, CRUD, create, read, update, delete operation uh, will be difficult directly if you want and also it will it is a time consuming. Uh, uh, given the need uh, to issue a raw SQL command, comments and navigate database structures for non-technical users doing database create operation directly, directly on a database can be daunting. So if you're um, directly, you cannot, you can do, but it is a time-consuming uh, crowd operation. But uh, the Django admin site fixes this problem. Also, uh, uh, the Django admin site is built in, uh, built as a Django app. Uh, this means the only thing you need to do to set up the Django admin site. Uh, let me show you that how you can create this. Uh, I'm going to, uh, right now I'm... Uh, this is my running server. Let me create a new uh, terminal session. Right click and new session like this. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to navigate to my project in here. Uh, uh, CD uh, my project like this. Uh, now after this. Uh, also, let me uh, Python uh, manage uh, dot by first migrate and uh, after that, uh, okay, apply. Okay, now I'm going to create my super user. Uh, you can simply write uh, Python uh, manage dot by and uh, create super user. Hit enter. Okay, now it needs some, for example, it needs a username. You can give a username, but I want to blank. I want to give uh, 
uh, my black username I my username is Paris so by default if you want to change this you can give in here but I don't want now you can give an email address for example Paris.if at uh, Paris uh, at gmail.com uh, password you can give a password uh, uh, now confirm the password so now a uh, super user created successfully uh, now I'm going to uh, open my in here you can write backslash admin and now you can see that this is Django administration now you can give your uh, username and you can give your password in here in the further videos you will watch that it is a powerful uh, now you can see we have a nice admin uh, uh, you can see that you can see the users uh, I have one user that is an admin user you can see that part ways and this is my email and if I click on this uh, uh, you can change, uh, for example, if you want, you can change the first name, you can change the last name, you can change the email address. Uh, this is the uh, administration panel of Django built in, so it will help a lot. Um, you will see that it is so useful and powerful administration tool in uh, Django framework. Thank you, guys. If you have any question, please let me know. In the next video, we will talk about apps. And please subscribe the channel and also like the videos.